hi guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a round rice mix bouquet using african print fabric so we'll be using this african print this is fascinator wire you issue scissors and tape so on your Ankara fabric i just cut out strip of long fabric then the width is 1.5 inches so what i did was to go to my pressing iron and fold half an inch all through that's what i did to the boat strip so this is the strip we are going to be using to wrap our fascinator wire so this fascinator wire and this length is two yards that's i measured 36 inches twice so the reason I measured 36 inches was to have enough wire to fold in because this wire is very soft. I don't want our round bouquet to be bending when you are holding it. That's why I doubled the wire. So if you have a strong wire, you can just use one without trying to double it. So I want the width to be... 10 inches if it's not up to you can widen it before you wrap the other one I don't want to 10 inches so you open it more so this is 10 inches now the width so you can now fold this other one So you get any matching thread with your fabric and fold it this way. I'm going to hold these edges of the fascinator wire so it doesn't pierce your fabric when you are wrapping. I'm going to wrap this side this same way I just wrap this one. So I am done tying my thread. If you want, you can just wrap your thread around the old fascinator wire instead of just tacking this particular edge that I did. So with the help of our U issue, take one of your fabric and we'll start wrapping now. Use your your folded edge to cover your rough work. So this side I I use it to cover the rough work this way. So you use your neat edge to cover your rough work. What I am doing. When your fabric is almost finished, apply your U issue and fold it. Then start with 
another fabric. Now your you issue and continue. Continue wrapping. When you get to the end of your fascinator wire, you wrap it, you can cut off your remaining fabric. Then fold this edge, fold this other rough edge. We are done with the wire now. So we will make the flowers now. So your Ampara fabric gets a round um, object, maybe cup or anything, and place it. You start drawing now circles using this. this out. So these are the circles. I got different three different sizes of circle so you can see the sizes. I use another round thing to cut this one. So we'll start with this big one. With the help of your hot glue, fold it this way. First fold. Put your hot glue in between and fold it this way fold this way put your hot glue in between and fold this way so I will do the same thing to the rest of the circle so guys I am done with all the circles so now we'll start joining together from this side that is not folded add the hot glue and join the other parts this way add your glue and join this part here. When this side is dry, you can continue with the next step. Apply your hot glue. Continue to arrange this other ones like that. So 
this is what it looks like. So I will do the same for this other one too. So guys, I have four of this size. I have also have four of this size, and I have two of this size. So we'll start making our bouquet now. Remember, we are making a round breast made bouquet. So this is a fascinator wire. You pick one of these, and I'm going to gum this this way. Oh, let's gum the damp parts first. So apply your hot glue this way then hold your fascinator wire so you place it on it this way you allow it to dry so when this side is dry you will still apply your hot glue then apply your hot glue at the center of this other one and place it this way so you can see the shape of our bouquet it's coming out gradually so this is the first step to so start continuing with this one so apply your hot glue this way Put this on this side. You hold it to dry. When this part is dry, you are going to gum this other part. Apply your hot glue and apply your hot glue here. And join this. This way. You hold it to dry. So this same size is what we are going to use for this other side. So when this part is is dry, you can add the upper part. Just add your glue. Others and smalls. Add your glue. Part two. So, so guys we are basically done with our round rice meat okay you can see how beautiful and it it is so you can also use um flour to make this normally it's even flour but i decided to use ankara fabric and it turned out so beautiful 